We're doing a fanfare. Mm -hmm. All right. City Brass, and um, um, I'm going to just talk a little bit about things I do outside of River City Brass. I'm joined today by my daughter Gabby, who's in fourth grade, and she goes to Pine Ridgeland, and her teacher over there is Mr. Nicodemus, who's a soprano cornet player, just coincidentally, in the River City Brass. Um, and then over here is my dad, Robert. He is a uh, just entered his 90th year on the planet, and he's just an amazing guy. The house we're in is the house where I grew up, and uh, it's kind of an amazing place. It's kind of inspired by his career. He was conductor and founder and captain and do-it-all guy with the American Wind Symphony Orchestra, which uh, traveled around the world on a floating art center, a barge, 200 feet by 40 feet. And I grew up spending my summers on that barge, traveling. You know, when I was 13 and 14 years old, I was around older musicians who were college graduates. And, and so everything they knew rubbed off on me. It wasn't anything I did. I was just in a very lucky position. And when I went on to college, I didn't even major in music. I just majored in history and kept playing my music and pursued it, year, you know. At Harvard. Not, at Harvard, I played music and then did a lot of work after that in like regional orchestras. And so just kept going at it. My life outside of River City consists of uh, I live on a farm too, not this farm, but a farm in northern Allegheny County, over in Pine Township, where we have some goats and sheep. I work for the state as a supervisor for the, the Division of Human Services, and uh, have my private studio, have the farm to work on, keep fairly busy out there. generational ensemble going around, and the, around the world. It's pretty and, crazy. And, and playing something from the 17th century. Yes. And I was just thinking here, I was a student at Juilliard, and here this young lady who's hasn't been to Juilliard yet, yeah. right? She's only 10. And, and, and here she's playing with us, yeah. which is amazing. You know? It is amazing. And she does so well. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that children learn to play an instrument and, uh, and follow through on it because there's a discipline there that helps them remain solid in their terms of their it lives. Sure does. You know? Yeah, what's neat is dad was my first teacher and really my main teacher growing up. And now I pass along all the knowledge he gave me to my daughter. And it's, it's a neat thing.